Today in our 2013 Dodge Ram pickup, we'll be installing the Kurt Hitch part number 13374. This is what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next, we'll go ahead and take a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole, the outermost edge of the bumper is three inches. From the top of the inside of the receiver tube opening to the ground is 19 inches. Now let's go ahead with installation. Note we've already gone ahead and lowered and removed the spare tire. Now we're ready to go ahead and install the hitch. Starting here on the driver's side frame rail, we'll need to remove the second manufacturer's bolt from the very end of the frame rail nearest the bumper. We'll hang on to this bolt as we'll be reusing it to install the hitch. Next, our forward attachment point on the frame rail will be the open hole here where we'll feed hardware into the frame. For our forward attachment point on the frame, we'll be using the half inch carriage bolt, smaller half inch spacer block, along with the half inch pull wire we'll use to pull it into position, and then a half inch flange nut to secure the hitch. Our center attachment points will be in the cross tube that run directly under the bumper. These pre-drilled holes here will get hardware pulled in through the end of the tube and into position to secure the hitch. For the cross tube hardware, we'll be using again the half inch carriage bolt, the larger half inch spacer block, and then the pull wire and half inch flange nut. Now we'll go ahead and put the hardware into the frame for our forward attachment point. Using the bolt leader, we'll slide the block onto the bolt leader and then thread on the bolt. We'll feed the bolt into the frame followed by the block and then pull them back into position. Once in position, we can go ahead and remove the bolt leader. Now I'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. Next, it's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you hold the hitch while you install the fasteners. We'll put the hitch up into position, installing the manufacturer's bolt back into the threaded weld nut, and then the half inch flange nut for our forward attachment point. We'll install each one of these fasteners finger tight to hold the hitch into position. Now we'll go ahead and take the bolt leader Feed it through the hitch attachment point into the cross tube and out the end of the cross tube. Then we'll go ahead and slide on the block and feed it into the cross tube, followed by threading on the carriage bolt. Then we'll pull the carriage bolt and block into position down to the center of the cross tube and out through the hitch. We'll go ahead and hold onto the carriage bolt, remove the bolt leader, and thread on the half inch flange nut. Note. It's a good idea to hold on to the carriage bolt as it can possibly fall back into the cross tube once you remove the bolt leader. Quick tech tip, you can also use a flat bladed screwdriver to assist in holding the carriage bolt by taking the flat blade and pushing down onto the carriage bolt, pinching it in position. Now with those fasteners installed finger tight, we can go ahead and tighten down all fasteners. Next, we'll torque the specifications as indicated instructions. Now with the hitch secured and torqued to specifications, this will complete the install of our Kurt Hitch part number 13374 on our 2013 Dodge Ram pickup.